in not just our dead understanding of recording, but in living motive, heart, palpitation, every thought, activity, and is being transferred into the book, the data being held in heaven. And this data is coming through the eyes or the camera in today's terminology. And these eyes are inside, are a part of the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. And so this camera image picking up, it's not bound by time. It can go to 2056, take some pictures and come back to 2010 and then go back. It's not bound by time. Which was, which is, which is to come. And he is taking information. What information is he taking? The character. And let us read in, in Proverbs 20 verse 27. And we all know that the eye of the Lord is upon those that fear him. The eye of the Lord is upon you and me. And so we read in Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20. And verse 27, Proverbs 20 and verse 27, The Spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth. Uh, sorry, that's it. Yeah, verse 27. So the Spirit of, the, of man is the candle of the Lord. And it's searching. It's taking in. Information. You know, we can understand this a little bit better with the computer world because like Google sends their, their things and it goes into all the computers and just snatches out information right in the core of the computer. And so in heaven, there is the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world, having seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, which go to your heart and take in the information and store it as real. As real. And Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Let us understand it a bit further. Romans chapter 8. And verse, Romans 8 and verse um, 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit? Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. In other words, the Holy Spirit searches your inmost pains, your inmost joys. You, you full, through and through, he searches you. And he doesn't just search it because he's looking for something. He's searching to take in absolutely everything. Sin or no sin. He's taking it in. And that is being transferred to the Lamb, Jesus Christ. And so in heaven, we have, like Jacob's ladder, the angels. And when we study the angels, they carry the oil, which is the Holy Spirit, to the earth. We can read that in the Old Testament. On Jesus Christ, the angels were ascending and descending. There was uploads and downloads of information. So as we understood that the Holy Spirit takes of Jesus and shows it to us, he is 2,000 years ago isn't the question. It's now. The Holy Spirit takes the cross of Christ in all its detail and downloads it into your being and plays it. And it's real. Christ 
crucified among you. We're not looking back to Jerusalem. We're not looking 2,000 years ago. We're not looking at Jewish carpenter that doesn't know what it's like when an iPhone plays up. We're not looking at someone who, who doesn't know what it's like when your car breaks down or when you, when you get your finger dubbed with a needle from sewing with the modern machines or whatever it is, whatever suffering it is. It's not a case of, well, he was back there and I'm now here. He doesn't know what it's like to be addicted to Coca-Cola. There was no Coca-Cola. He doesn't know what it's like to smoke cigarettes because there was no cigarettes. The fact is that it, that which you suffer has been uploaded to Jesus Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And it was loaded before we were born because he had our information from the foundation of the world. And so your sufferings became his by the Spirit because it says that he offered himself through the eternal Spirit. Are we getting the picture? That time is not a barrier for God. That your modern day trials, that your modern experience, that all the stresses of your life have been searched out by God's Spirit who knows everything, more suffering than you even realize you had and has taken that and has played it out in real terms, feeling and thought and everything in Jesus Christ. So when we come past the way mark, who are we looking at? Us. And then when we have had this experience, when we believe we have the Holy Spirit of promise, the earnest, when we receive that earnest, then when we look at the cross of Christ and that earnest plays it in front of us, then we can say, I am crucified with Christ. Because it's not nothing to us that we pass by. It is everything to us because it's us. That's why it should be everything to us. Not that, is it nothing to you? As in, don't you care? Some people care. But it's not them. At least they don't see it as them. Jesus Christ was made to be sin for us. Who knew no sin? He bore our sins in his body on the tree. He bore the sins of the world. 2010, the antediluvian world brought together in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when we, when we see him, we know Romans chapter 6, verse 6, and it says, Romans 6, verse 6, Knowing this, now this knowing is not just a theoretical 